Even get fresh mullet for this sort of thing, but that new world didn't have any, so that's all right. But fresh bait, fresh bait's always the best bait because there's no skin left, so it didn't have any whole fish. Because there's no skin, what I'll probably have to do is cotton these onto the hooks, but we'll see how we go. It's warmed up. So there we go, ready to go, you should push down. Compass calibrate. Home to our drone. There we go. 
So what we're doing at the moment, we've um, we've sent out the first um, drone set about four or five hundred meters, um, and what I've noticed in the water is there's a bit of red weed just before you come into the shallow side of things. So we're going to have a look and see what this set's like, because um, what I don't want to do is put out three um, sets of gear and have to bring it all back through that red weed. So we'll see how we go with this one. And if this one goes alright, we'll set out another one. If not, then what we're going to do is we're going to pack all our gear up real quick and we're going to head over to the west coast. So, yeah, we're in Kiowa right now. Um, but we'll pack up while it's still quite early in the day. And then we'll shoot over to the west coast. There's, I mean, in, at the moment I have only got that um, fresh stuff that we got from the supermarket this morning. And because my cotton's not on, my bait cotton's not in my bag... I'm not tying it to the, the hooks like I'd like to so I'm not fishing the way I'd like to be fishing right now and that's a, But we are getting bites. We've had a couple of hits on the baits already So at least the baits have got out there <laughs> in good condition um, It's just whether they're gonna last long on those hooks or if they get picked off by the little stuff Which is not what we want. So Yeah, we'll see you soon if we do pick up we'll, we'll, we'll let you know and then we'll see you on the west coast Put him back. He's leave us some gear then. <laughs> All right. So there you go, two good sized gurnard, first set of the morning, 
Um, so that's our dinner taken care of, well and truly. So we had five baits out, um, five baits and a soft bait, six hooks all together. We caught a snapper, which would have been about 35, 40 centimeters, we've put back. And then these two donkey gurners. That's a good set, mate. Here we go, first set of the day. Shucks, now we just gotta decide whether we do another set or we uh, tuck it in and head to the west coast. So, I'll figure that out as I walk past all these oysters again. There you go. Parked up on the side of the road, catching gurner, mate. Let's go. Now that I untangle the mess, not willing to drag these over those oysters. <laughs> those oysters are lethal. Oh, these hooks are mean. Dirty. One there. Ice pack. Fish. Good times. Boy. Ooh, even bigger. First set, two guinea spikes. Ow! <laughs> two good sized gurney for the bin. So, what I'm doing now is um, cutting up some more bait. <laughs> we we're going to pack up and go. But um, because we've caught some fresh gurney, what I am thinking we're going to do now is put out a couple more sets. Because um, knowing that the bait held on the hook, um, which was one of my main frustrations, and knowing that um, the red weed wasn't too big a deal, um, tide's coming in now, um, which means... Uh, the oysters that are out there aren't going to be as big a deal um, once it comes in a bit further. So all everything's going to work in our favour here now. So we might just um, put two rods out there, uh, leave them for half an hour again, see how we go, and then uh, hey, pack up, and then we're going to head to the west coast. So today is going to be east and west coast, unless something crazy happens here and we have to change the plan. But yeah, that's what we're hoping to do. Um, and so far, so good. A couple of gurney in the bin, snapper released, and we're still fishing, buddy. Still plenty of battery. And we're on the side of the road. Didn't even have to walk into the spot. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. These AE Condor drones are awesome. So, uh, check them out. Mean! Clear is. West Coast, everyone says West is best. Well, today we're going to test that out. Turn on the top, that means as soon as she stops her momentum, there you go, she'll start coming back. Yep, and uh, just like that, while well, she's coming back, tighten up, always tighten up your slack line. You want your sinkers to set, just sinkers. 
see. Which it feels like they've done. back and then reset this one and we're off to the second set. Pat this down now, we're not tempted to do another set after because <laughs> we've got to hit that west coast. So what we're doing right now, so the plan of attack is, we've got, um, this one's out 550, that one's out 500. Um, kahawai, uh, fresh kahawai baits on all of our hooks, because they worked. Um, I've got fresh trevally in there as well, and some old pilchards. But, because it worked, we're going to keep going with it. We've got one soft bait on this one, and the rest are all just pretty much fresh kahawai. Uh, we're going to pack up everything into the truck now, see how these go, uh, and then we're going to head over to the west coast, meet up with some of the boys, and um, have round two, pretty much. Uh, and we're, we're basically testing out today, which is the best day, our uh, best coast, which is uh, we're on the east coast right now, out here in Kiowa, and then we're heading over to the west coast, um, out on Waiuku Afatu area. So it's going to be a good day. And we've already got bites on this one here, so. I'm hoping it's another goonie. I'm hoping it's another goonie. So, um, I just thought I would give a bit of a breakdown as to how the gear's going. So, um, the rod on this side has probably almost got a full string of fish on. Um, I think we've seen like five good sets of hits um, take place on there. Um, whereas, oh, actually, this one's just get some attention just now. Um, but this rod here has only had it's its second um, set of bites, and um, typically, typically on these um, sets, once you um, once you get a bite. As long as it keeps moving for a bit, you've got that fish on. Uh, and because you're using six hooks, it pays to keep them out there um, for a bit longer because we um, release fish that we, we feel are um, undersized or um, if we catch too many, we put them back anyway. Um, it's just beneficial to keep it out there, you know. And so, but the reason why um, there's such a stark difference where we're using exactly the same rigs um, out pretty well the same distance um, and we're getting such big differences like look how close together these two rods are it's practically side by side obviously the hook sections won't be but um, the reason why we're getting such a big difference in the hits is this rod here is out close to the muscle farm um, and I'm probably going to jeopardize this spot for myself in the future by letting everyone know that but that's okay, that's okay, get you fellas a feed this summer. Um, and that, So yeah, this one's really close to the mussel farm, whereas this one here is just out over the sand. Um, still doing good, but it, um, the purpose of me doing this and showing you um, what's going on here is the principle in this, why I'm actually fishing here is mussel farm represents food. That, that to me, it's, it's, it's not that it's a structure it's, or, or that there's... Um, a mussel farm out there it's because the mussels are food to fish um, and so for me if I can get my baits next to somewhere where the, the fish are known um, to get food from they'll turn up there already ready to feed and uh, on the turn of the tide so we started fishing here on the turn of the incoming tide and um, we've been getting some pretty decent action um, as you would have seen earlier so we've got a couple of gurnard in the bin we've put a snapper back already and um that was on one set, and so now we've got two more out to see what happens before we either keep fishing or we tuck it in and we head out to the west coast. Um, so yeah, she's all go, but I just wanted to show you the difference. Where the food is, 
action. This over here, just sitting over a sandbank, where there may be some fish, slower. Hey, look at that! it in up the top there was just so I had a better line angle on the fish because there's a lot of snags a lot of foul and close the higher up you can get the tip of your rod the angle of your line changes just means that the fish are constantly up off the bottom so that's why we stayed up there if you're wondering now I've got to walk the gauntlet of oysters <laughs> and there's amazing footwear <laughs> and the jet marks That was right, eh? Hey? It's the one. It's good. Oh, it's three. Take a snapper. Oh, yeah. Three gooner than a snapper on this one. Unreal. Second set. It looks like only one of the hooks they got the bait, eh? Hey? Right, I'll give you that. Yeah. Actually, you want to start walking back? There we go. Three, man, that, that one there, the smaller one, looks tiny compared to the others. But that's well and truly legal. Well and truly legal. It's just there's some big boys out lurking today. Get these fellas on ice. And then uh, we might pull in that other one. It's been a good day. Five gurners in the bin. And two throwback snapper. Mean. So that's um, snapper. So, so far we've kicked off the um, bucket list challenge on the, the channel and so far I've got kawaii, snapper and gurnard for the season and that kicked off two weeks ago? Two weeks ago. So three species already ticked off our list and uh, I'll tell you what, we're only just getting started so it's going to be a good season, going to be a good season. Um, nice to tick the old gurnet off quickly <laughs> because they can be challenging sometimes. There we go. Last fish for the east coast. Oh, no oysters on the side too. Give them the 
full toss because it's so shallow. All right. Yeah, so that's us. We're going to pack up um, and quickly hoof it over to the west coast and see see what happens over there. So final count was three snapper. Is that three snapper? Yep. Three snapper. Two of them were legal, but we put them back because they're probably only just legal. Um, uh, three snapper and five gurnan. So we'll take the gurnan <laughs> every day of the week. Um, we've got five gurnan in the bin. Yeah, we're going to pack up, head over to Waoku on our way there, try and find some um, some bait cotton. Because on the west coast you ain't going to get away with your bait staying on the hook, that is for sure. Uh, but what did we learn today? You can find food, you can find the fish. Mussel farm, what, four hooks were filled? Um, and the other bait was taken so every single bait was um, well and truly smashed by fish and then the bait that we sent the, the set that we sent out this side um, we got one snapper on so goes to show you hey find the fish uh, find the food sorry you find the fish um, and that's how close the, the gear was and the stark difference so um, just a quick tip for you if you're fishing somewhere and you don't know there's any food there you might want to change your posse but we'll pack this up real quick, get in the car, and boost it over to the west coast. See you over there. So we've packed up, we're on our way to the west coast now, and um, we're gonna see uh, which which of the coasts produces the best result um, but what I thought we'd do is right now on our way out there um, comment below if you think East Coast has got it sussed and this is you've already got a clue um, as to how the East Coast has gone if you think the East Coast has got it, got it on lock or if you think West Coast is they say West is best um, so comment below if you think West is going to hook it up um, Conditions are pretty good for the west coast, I will admit that, I will say that much. Uh, and we've still got a full drone battery, 13 minutes on the other battery. Um, so we've still got quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of time we can put out there. So yeah, let us know, comment below, let us know what you think is gonna happen, which coast is gonna hold it down for us today. Uh, it's gonna be pretty hard for me to be really honest, it's gonna be pretty hard to beat those five gurners. And saying that, if we get one kingfish, it's game over. West Coast did it. So that's, that's it for me. That's, that's it for me. So, yeah, if we catch five snapper, East Coast still took it. But yeah, let me know what you think. Don't forget to look up our YouTube channel, Outdoor Adventures with Kays, subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay notified every time we upload a new video.